Hello and welcome back. Okay, so, so far we have managed to read a message from our user and we want to be able to send a message again to the same user, but it's important that we use the same message ID to send, otherwise this will be regarded as a different thread altogether. So this is important. Now there are two ways you could do this. The first way is to add your message ID down here. So let's come back and see what I'm talking about. So here what we can do, since we have an actual form here, what I can do is add one more input here and this one will be of type hidden like so and the name would be uh, let's say uh, msg id like message id right and then i will put a value of our message id now i will know what the message uh, id is because any of these messages like for example as long as data contains some data okay I will be able to know what the message ID is down here because any of all the messages that I retrieve here will have exactly the same message ID. So because it's, it's the same thread. So if I, I can easily just uh, say data, something like this, let me put two dots there, one dot data. And then I put zero like so, because that's the first item. Wait a minute, is data an array? Yes, it's an array. Okay, that's an array, but wait a minute, when reading from data, oh, that's because it's showing one array at a time. All right, so it is an array anyway, so data, and here I'll just say message ID, like so, message ID, like that, uh, close it, uh, stop like that boom like so so here it's going to display the message id so let me save this and let's come back here and let's refresh the page okay and let's inspect our element and if we look down here what do we see we have an input of hidden type which the users can't see and the name is message id and the value is the message id so this is all right, uh, you can do it this way. But as you can see, there's a security risk here because I can easily just uh, check what the hidden, uh, by inspecting the element, I can just say the message ID is this one, then I'll know what the message ID is to this person here. And then I can use this to manipulate uh, and do something, um, to do something else or hack the system or whatever it is or read other people's messages so now to avoid this kind of thing uh, it's better the website just uh, checks what the message id is every time it tries to uh, to create a new message if the message id exists or if there's already a conversation with this person it will get the message id and use that to save that way you avoid using uh, putting uh, sensitive data down here so we will avoid this insecure version of things right let me remove that Ooh, what have i done okay there we go so let's do it the more clever way mm -hmm. so what we will do is go back to our top here now remember that uh, once we post a new com or a new message it will still run through this process right here so i think at this point we don't need these two so adios now at this point it will still go through here if i post right there, right there whether the message is new or not and in either cases in both cases whether the message is new or not we are still going to need to redirect the user to exactly the same place so this will still work exactly the same okay and you can see that if i try and write a new message here i'll say how are you like that 
and then I will send this message. And now you see there are two messages here, but the horror is that these have different message IDs. So this is what we're trying to fix here. This is to the same sender and the same receiver, but different message ID. So of course we can't have this. So what we will do is right here where we are saying send message, let's go back to our send message thingy. Now remember that we have a way to select uh, a specific thread. So this is the way right here. This is the way. I will copy that here and let's go up here. So up here is where we are sending a message. So everything is good. Uh, here we are looking at the file. So ignore or this, we don't need this. This is all about the file. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Or, 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 okay, great. We are good here. So this is the part that has the message up to there. Mm -hmm. So the only part we need to change is where we are creating a message ID. Okay, so right here where there is message ID, let's take a little detour. So let's just do something like a check if old messages exist already. Or maybe to be more specific, check if a thread exists. And let's paste our new code right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need some replace uh, replacements here. So for example, we need to know who the current user is. So are we doing that? Yes, we are doing this right here on sender and receiver. So instead of having these bad boys down here, let's move them slightly higher up to there. Mm -hmm. That way we can take advantage of them. Okay, goody. So at this point, we will replace me with a sender. So let's put sender here. Everywhere where there is a me, we put a sender. Goody. And then the other one remains as a receiver. Okay, good. Receiver is the other person. So let's change that to receiver as well. There we go. Okay, and now our universe is balanced. Now here we don't need to order anything. We don't need to trouble the uh, database to do all this nonsense. We just, want, we just want one record, that's all. Just limit one. Okay, so here we get database read, that's data. So at this point, we have to ask ourselves, okay, so here we don't need these two anymore. So out, adios. Okay, so where are we, where are we? Yeah, so we check if uh, this, this is good. So let's see, if uh, is array, data. Oops, where have I gone? Okay, right there. Got lost there for a second. If this data is an array, then uh, we are good. So what we will do is replace this value. So we start by assigning it to something random, but then if we do find that there are other records there, then good, we can redirect the value to the first item we retrieve there, and then we get the message ID, like so. Good. Mm -hmm. But because we are reading from the database here, we will need to declare our database right at the top. Boom, there we go. Okay. We are making good progress, I think. Okay, so all we needed there was the message ID and that's it. So everything else remains exactly the same. So let's come back. And now we have two conflicting message IDs. So this is not good. Let's browse and delete one of them. So let's delete number four. 
out. Thank you very much. Okay, there we have one thing. And now we refresh. So let's send a new message. Let's just call it new message. You see, very creative, isn't it? New message and send. And well, you know, we have exactly the same message ID. Cool, isn't it? So now we have a single thread happening here. Very nice. Okay. So in the next video, we will do more of displaying these messages, these messages in a more civilized manner than this. Okay. So I will see you in the next video.